Today we're going to demonstrate how to assemble an IC plus uh, seal on an AMCO C-series centrifugal pump. We're going to start first with the back plate. And we're going to add a little bit of lubricant grease down here in the lower cavity of the back plate. We're going to do the same on the stationary seal. And then we're going to press this ceramic face up into the back plate. And at this point, we're going to wipe off that seal face of any grease that may have gotten on there from my hands. Next, we load the back plate onto the pump. And we do this carefully. Try not to bang the shaft, because that could chip the seal face. You're going to want to load this in and engage those hooks in the back. All right. Next, we're going to provide a little lubrication onto the stub shaft and a little lubrication to the rubber boot on the inside of the rotating seal. We're going to slide that onto the stub shaft. Until it makes contact with the stationary seal. Next, dab the little grease on the shaft gasket to help it stay in place. We're going to load that onto the shaft. I'm going to place the key into its cavity. Next, the spring. Spring cup. And then the impeller. And I'm going to get down and line up the key with the slot in the impeller. I'm going to press that against the spring. Make sure the gasket is on the impeller nut. Place your bar back into the hole in the shaft. Tighten the impeller nut to the proper torque, and that'll depend on the motor horsepower size, which is in the manual, the proper torque value. Replace the casing. Make sure it's on evenly. I like to give the clamp to help get it seated. And you're done.